I love the JCC because it is a second home to us. We spend probably more time here than we actually do at our home during waking hours at least. Um, and we feel like it's a family here. Since I've grown up around here my whole entire life, it just is really, it makes me calm basically walking in here. We originally enrolled Livia here when she was two and a half. She just loved it. It was during second grade recital and that was the first time we saw her up on stage and she was so incredibly expressive and joyful and we realized this was a whole different part of her personality we had never even seen because she's somewhat shy <laughs> most of the time. And we just saw how much joy and meaning dance brought to her, how it helped her express herself and uh, we attribute a lot of that to Maggie and her staff. I mean, Maggie obviously teaches these girls to be amazing dancers, but what she does with them is much more than just being a dance teacher. She teaches them to give back to their communities, and she teaches them to be just confident and strong young people. Um, she is a role model in doing that herself. She saw that I made this picture and I posted it on my Instagram to raise awareness for the BLM like organization. And she said that she wanted to help me make it into a print and sell it to actually raise money for the cause. I felt inspired that she was really gonna like help me do it. And together we ended up raising over $500. While the day was closed, we had Zoom classes with each of our teachers that normally teach our classes. So we still gotta improve our skills and practice our dances for the recital. She basically provided every potential option for her dancers to continue dancing and to continue a part of their lives that was really important and meaningful to them and also kept, kept them busy, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in both Shabbat and the Jewish holidays, Maggie has really gone out of her way to make sure everybody can participate and make sure that nobody is excluded because of their level of religious observance. In competition season, she goes out of her way and works with each competition group to make sure that the dances are scheduled for the girls who keep Shabbat on Sundays. When we went to Disney World with uh, Encore, Maggie made sure that the parade the girls performed in was not on Shabbat. Dear Miss Maggie, I wanted to thank you for being one of the main reasons I'm still sane. Everything's been getting canceled and I don't feel like I have very much control over my situation. Taking your classes reminds me that it's all temporary and I'm not the only one who feels that way. You are one of my greatest role models. Always the best wishes, Livia.